Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is Philippians 3, verse 13 to 14, which says, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to the things that are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Now, today it's... Uh, it's about goals, and if you were, if you viewed the video yesterday, uh, we talked about uh, goal setting. That the main goal was uh, fulfilling uh, the call of God in our lives, but breaking that down into uh, goals so that that we have a life well lived. And so I said that I would share my goals that I made uh, for this year. So my my main, sometimes people like to do like a mission statement or a main goal and, and mine is to fulfill God's call on my life and it's to help others and to, to connect with God, to help others draw closer to God and help them to walk in the fullness that God has for them. So in order to fulfill that this year for the spiritual segment there was seven that i listed the other day the spiritual is just continue what i'm doing i have a, a great relationship with god and i don't believe that that uh that should stay the way it is it's good to work on it but that wasn't an area that i felt that that needed to be worked on at this point so um and you will find that when you're going through your goals People tend to make them too high or too many, and then it's like a setup for a failure. So don't do that. There's no right or wrong way for goal setting. And what's what you do may be different than me, and it's like what we have to do is what, what works for us and what we believe God is leading us to. So same with um, family and friends. I'd like to increase that, but again, it's not something that there are a few friends that I'd really like to connect with more, but this year, that's not my priority. Uh, career ministry, the ministry is, is my priority this year, and the videos, that's one of my main priorities. Developing the media sites, and I've chosen to rewrite three of my books. And then to further break that down, I've listed how long I've given myself for each of the books, and then I haven't done it with the last two yet, like I know I'm, I'm taking four months for each book, but for the, the, the fiction that I'm rewriting right now, I've broken it down to how many pages a day, and, and so that I can finish in that allotted time. And so what that does is it helps me if some someday that I can't, make that goal, what I can do is I can double up the next day. Or for some of our goals, we don't want to do that. We want to just move forward. We don't want this heaviness. But if, if you have a deadline for, for a goal, then that's a good thing to do. Um, education, growth, development, I've left that. And for the financial one, it's interesting because my goal in the financial is to walk in a deeper trust of God. I've stepped out in faith in doing some things that God has called me to do, and it it requires me to trust Him at a deeper level. And that's something that can be challenging for me in that area. So that's I'm I'm constantly trying to refocus so that I have the peace in that area. So, and, and I, I share that so that you can see that it, when you think of financial, you think of uh, savings or setting a, a budget, and it doesn't have to be just so black and white. It can be whatever God's leading you to. And it's the same as uh, physical, the exercise and the diet, I've just kind of left the way it is for this year, but relaxation. That, I tend to be a workaholic, so what I do, I, I would even eat my meals at my computer as I was working. And so now I've, try, I'm trying to spend an hour a night 
watching a movie. And it's funny because I never thought I would ever do that. I always saw watching TV as a waste of time. I think uh, I tend to be a little different than, than a lot of people. Now, I'm sure there's lots of people with the same struggles as I have, but I know a lot of people that they struggle feeling like they watch too much TV. So see again, it's not a, a right or wrong, it's what, what is right for you. Watching, I, I have Netflix, which there's no commercials, which is great because when I had commercials, I'd read a book, or, or when I had regular TV, I would read a book in commercials. It's not quite as relaxing. And I found that's really good. The other thing I'm doing is working on getting an earlier bedtime, trying to get uh, seven hours sleep a night. And for me, that's been a challenge for most of my adult life. And it, it's just, I had to change my mindset. I used to think sleeping was a waste of time. And if you, if that's what the mindset is, then you avoid sleeping. You just keep pushing through and it creates health problems. So for me, this is a, is actually a lot big, a bigger deal than, than what it sounds. But that's what is so important that you do what you need to do, not what everybody else is doing or not what somebody thinks about your goal setting, but what will help you live a life well lived. So fun, I didn't, uh, the last area was fun. So I, I'm not doing anything with that because I, kind of like to have fun in whatever I do. I can do something very serious and, and I'll have aspects of fun in it and that I've just been doing for years and I will continue to do that and uh, so that those are my goals and I've shared that with you and hopefully that will help you understand that goal setting isn't as rigid as you may have thought and you don't have to set goals in all of those areas, the ones that you feel God leading you to so that it can help you. Goals are always for, for our betterment and God wants to bless you and bring greater freedom and help you to enjoy your journey. So be blessed as you set goals for your life today. We'll see you tomorrow.